everybody and thanks for joining me today. Um, today is going to be a snippet on another high street. I really enjoyed the one I did in Chard so I thought why not do my own high street and um, let's see what we can find. Let's see what we can find. So let's start just outside the White Hart Hotel. If you look next door to the left, Andover Funeral Care, Captain's Restaurant and Belvoir seems so in place, but look above in line with the hotel. That's the original line of the buildings. Now, just here it used to be a Ford and the only way vehicles could cross was to go through it. The actual bridge was only for people and this old slipway is where the church now stands and it was built in the early 1900s. The Guild Hall, the centre of town. The first one was built in 1461. The Guild Hall always seems the centre of any town and Andover is no different. It used to be called the Town Hall and it used to have a clock tower. This was removed in the start of the 1900s and the new clock tower which is there today was there at least by the 1907. The one there right now is the third and built in 1925. Now this gorgeous gas lamp proudly standing tall in an old photo and here it is still standing today dating 1897. It was erected for Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee. There's Queen Victoria again which some of you will know in other videos she keeps cropping up. It's been a while though this time. And then it was restored for Queen Elizabeth's Silver Jubilee. Now, wandering further up the high street, we come to the old M&S building. Now look above and you can see where the original building was. It used to be a Baptist church. You can just about see where the original round window was. It was moved to the current church just off the Folly Roundabout. A brief stop at the main church in town, um, as basically it could be a whole video all by itself. This is the third church on the site, just like the Guildhall. The entrance from this side is the original Norman arch from the old parish church, which when it was demolished, it was moved here. Now that had to be some doing in 1845. It was only 250 odd feet away to move it, but that's quite an effort. The crypt that's underneath this current church used to be the old nave, which is where the congregation would have gathered many years ago. Now, I mentioned almshouses before, back in the charred one. They had one particular one up at the top of their high street, and there was no different, it also has its almshouses. Not quite as spectacular in architecture, but nonetheless they do the job. These have been rebuilt through the years, last time in 1869. I believe they are looking to replace these again with something more modern. Just past here were the swim baths. Just a wall remains now. These were built to replace the outdoor ones that used to be in the river by the Anton Mill. Can you imagine having an outdoor baths in a river? It's not something we would do these days, is it? But it was the norm then. As we've already said, about three churches. One more recent, one having moved, and one rebuilt three times. This one is the oldest one standing in Andover Town Centre. The United Reformed Church, built around 1700. It also houses the tombstones of Robert Tasker and his wife. That is also another big story, all by itself. Hidden behind these buildings is a school, the oldest one in town, from 1859. There are two main buildings to each side and in the middle is what used to be a cottage for the headmasters and headmistresses to live. Opposite is the Freemasons Hall, another thing that could probably be a whole video all by itself. This particular one is the Lodge of St Hubert. They've been dotted around having met originally at the White Hart, then at the Foresters and now they have their own place. It's also quite a good place to hire for events. I've been to quite a few myself. The building next door used to be where the fire station was, now that's up on London Road having moved in the 1960s as we drift down London Street. The old job centre used to be a brewery and there was even a bank down here opposite that where Bills and Partners used to be. Now looking up again you can see a sundial. I never knew this was here and it is fantabulous. This kept time for the coaches going through Andover. After all we were six minutes different to London so they kind of needed to know what the time was. These were a pair this one's still in place but the other was moved and isn't in the best condition but it's still fabulous all the same. Once again looking up on the wall above here is an advert still there after all these years. Paint was made to last then wasn't it? Now the final stop just where we started but this is the town jail. 
The innkeeper at the pub in front was also the jail keeper, mainly as it was the drunks from the pub that ended up in there. I loved walking up and down our high street and honestly if you just look up, I know I said it when I was doing the charred one, but there's so much there in your high street um, that you probably don't even know is there. Um, so much history. Um, so uh, have a look down your high street, see what you can find. <laughs>